Uh, is everyone ready? Give me a yes in the group. Uh, if you're ready for the first exercise, give me a big, big yes. Lots of yeses. Tons and tons of quick, quick, quick yeses. <laughs> All right, they're, they're flowing, they're flowing. All right. <laughs> You've got your diary uh, or notepad and your pen ready. I'm gonna then request Sunaila to take it away. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Uh, so I just want you all to close your eyes for a moment and kind of bring yourself to this class and this space. Yes. Uh, now I want you to open your eyes and write down the qualities you're looking for in a soulmate. And uh, the qualities better be something like uh, the way that person is in terms of their intrinsic qualities rather than blue colored eyes, six foot height and tall, dark and handsome, something more than that. So if you want to write kind and uh, compassionate, energetic, fit, you can write these things and some more emotional aspects, which you think your soulmate should have. So um, do not write the things which are advertised as a soulmate has these qualities. What are you looking for? I'll just kind of give you two minutes to do that. All right, I think most of the people are done with this. Okay, now I want you to just answer yes or no. Do you think you will get someone with these qualities? Just right now, do you think you will get someone with these qualities? All right, now you write down, if you think you will get them, why do you think you will get them? And if you think you can't get someone with these qualities, why? Why do you think you can't get someone with these qualities? There's a whole bunch of yeses, uh, by the way, <laughs> Sunena. <laughs> I'm so excited. Of yeses. How wonderful. <laughs> and then there, there are a few no's as well. Uh, Shweta says, I already have. That's fantastic, Shweta. <laughs> um, Nandini did uh, right. I want to, but I have been constantly been so disappointed. My body is saying a no, no, no. And then, uh, should I read out the others, uh, the other reasons, um, Sunena? Yeah, the reasons would help. Okay, so Arpita says, I can get him as I'm deserving. Um, uh, somebody called Andy says, I don't think I'll get these qualities as maybe it's too much to expect from one person. Okay, this is good. I would like to talk a bit about on okay. this. Yeah. So uh, that's the thing. We believe that it's too much to ask. We just think it's too much to ask because every time as a child in school or at home, we've asked something and you've been told you ask too much. Don't ask so much. Uh, if you ask for 10 dresses, probably you get two. So you get into a habit of thinking that whatever I ask is too much. But always know this, that the way your parents are or the way your teachers or anybody else is not the way how the universe works, right? Universe works on the concept of ask and you shall receive. That's so true. you can receive everything. Okay. 
even in terms of money there are people who are manifesting money and they are like i'm going to put an amount to it and i'm like no honey you don't put an amount to it let the universe surprise you probably you're limiting yourself by that amount universe wants to give you more so mm-hmm. it's the same way with the soulmate nothing is too much you can kind of pick and choose fantastic um monica says and karmic relationship i'm not sure how that's here but i'll read out the others mm-hmm. mehra says um soul contracts may not allow to meet in this lifetime okay that's an interesting point of view <laughs> because um you know this are kind of a brain candy if you keep believing that you will not let yourself have that mm-hmm. it's like this uh, you know the people who say that oh you know what i just can't have this because i'm just too old to have this or i'm just too poor to have it it's an excuse <laughs> you can have it if you want it universe will de- deliver Okay. Yeah, and I, I know a lot of people get told like so I've been told by countless I think um astrologers and all that um I'm not going to find a partner this uh, in this lifetime. It's um uh, a partner relationship is not for me. Okay, so the thing is that the person who is kind of telling you that their definition of a partner also matters. Hmm. If your astrologer thinks that partner means marriage, hmm maybe you will not get married but you know soulmate relationship need, need not be a relationship in which you are married you can mm. be like a boyfriend girlfriend yeah for all eternity for all you care because maybe two people are not looking for marriage mm. they come together in this beautiful relationship and they help and assist each other mm. so it also depends a lot on the person who is kind of telling you that what <laughs> they think a soulmate is or what it is that's true Okay um Arpita says sometimes i doubt myself um okay. and then so that's where says, the, that's where the disobability treatment comes in that you stop doubting yourself like mm-hmm. it's happening for you yeah so in fact even sumana says want to say yes but i feel like it's a distant dream that's also related to deserve deserveability yes that's related to deserveability and self worth but i would be more interested in knowing the people who have written that yes yes they will get it and why will they get it um vasudra says i think yes because i will be the same way with him that's why she all right so honey let me break this myth to you if you're nice to people that doesn't mean that people are going to be nice to you however if you're nice to yourself probably people are going to be a lot much nicer neha has given an interesting uh, line as well she says it's not possible someone is so good and still single and available <laughs> i haven't found till yet <laughs> no there are a lot of people i mean for all intents and purposes look rithik roshan is also single right now so <laughs> it's just possible you know i mean and there are like more than 7 billion people on earth and you think that there's a dearth of men who would be single and have all the qualities that you're looking for <laughs> i don't believe that <laughs> also so there are a friend of mine had told me this line as well saying that all the nice pe- all the good people are taken you know and i said but you're good and you're not taken so there's going to be more people like you out there as yeah. well <laughs> and the thing is that like most people who get at young age because i deal with a lot of people they come and say i'm in a toxic relationship and all that so if all the people who married young were good why would there be any toxic relationships mm-hmm. so it's happening and there's a lot there's lot available you just haven't explored your options 